Hello, everybody. Welcome to Elevating Your Life. Oh, another elevating show to share with you today. I am thrilled to share with you today, Jessica Radetzky. She is an artist, an entrepreneur. She began, began studying classical ballet at the age of five and has been dancing professionally since the age of 17. Her career has taken her all over the world. She is currently performing in the Phantom of the Opera on Broadway. In 2009, after losing her beloved father to pancreatic cancer, Jessica became active in genetic cancer outreach and advocacy. Raising awareness for BRCA related cancer prevention and quality of life issues around the country. She found a true passion in outreach. In 2017, she founded the Children's Hospital Outreach Nonprofit Broadway Hearts. Inspired by experiences with Make a Wish recipients, she focused on bringing a Broadway experience to children in treatment. Now a thriving foundation, her volunteers, all professional Broadway performers, visit with and bring music to kids in hospitals, children's hospitals around the country. Broadway Hearts is dedicated to her father, Peter Radetzky. In 2020, she co-founded the event company Broadway Unveiled. In 2021, she co-founded Lucent Breathwork. First off, Jessica, thank you, thank you. Oh, what a beautiful heart you have and what a gift <laughs> you've given to so many. I just oh, Paula. I want to start thank out you. with a big thank you. And, oh my goodness, you're so uh, lovely, thank you. <laughs> thank you for joining us today. I'm so honored, thank you for having me. Uh, well, I, I would love you to share uh, uh, more of your background and, and kind of what, what that was like and, triggering you, you know, to create Broadway Heart, such a, a beautiful thing. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, absolutely. Um, so Broadway Hearts came to be uh, in um, sort of, I, I wanted to start a foundation to honor my dad. Um, you you mentioned in in the intro that I, I did lose him in 2009. Uh, he was an incredible source of uh, happiness, joy, um, to my whole family, but uh, I had an incredibly close, really wonderful relationship with him. He was a giant part of my life. Um, and in losing him, it it was, you know, the most significant experience of my life. And uh, it, it changed my whole being. Um, and I knew I wanted to honor him in some way. I didn't quite know how that was going to, what that was going to look like. Um, and I, I started becoming very active in genetic cancer outreach. Um, the BRCA gene is a genetic mutation that predisposes um, me specifically. I, I inherited that gene to a myriad of different cancers. And so um, in diving sort of very, um, deeply into um, finding everything I could out about this this genetic cancer, um, it sort of gave me a little bit of a avenue for my grief um, in losing my dad. And so outreach became such a huge part of my life. Um, and I, I knew I wanted to honor him in some way. I didn't know if it was going to be a cancer foundation or um, a research foundation or something. Those all felt a little too raw for me. Um, being in Phantom, I've been in Phantom for quite some time. And one of the beautiful um, perks of being in, in a Broadway show was that um, we would have outreach opportunities. And one of the opportunities was that um, Make-A-Wish kids would come see our show a lot. And uh, we would have the opportunity to meet with them and their families and get to know them a little bit and be a, a part of their lives. Um, on occasion, they would cancel. Uh, we wouldn't know obviously why uh, we weren't privy to that information, but oh my goodness, that was a, um, a bit of a heartbreak. Um, now having uh, worked with the Make-A-Wish Foundation myself uh, in, in the, the most recent years, um, I know that sometimes it's, all, it's not the worst case scenario. Thank goodness. It could just be that a flight was delayed or something like that. Um, but 
back in 2017, I had no knowledge of that. So um, I really went to that sort of worst case scenario every time. And I thought, you know, why, why put this burden on these children to come see us for a Broadway experience? And why, why can't I figure out a way to um, bring a Broadway experience to children in treatment? And so that was sort of this goal that I created for myself. And it took a little bit of doing, I won't lie. <laughs> uh, there were a lot of phone calls and a lot of uh, sort of twisting of arms to get um, what I wanted to do uh, within the children's hospitals po made possible. Um, but after some time and after some doing, I managed to uh, first get a group of about eight of us into one hospital to have a, an hour long sing along with the kids um, that were in treatment there in New York City. And then that sort of snowballed into, um, you know, one or two more hospitals locally, and then a Ronald McDonald house, and then my group of, you know, six friends that I had uh, sort of said, hey, do you want to do this with me, um, turned into, you know, 10 or 15, and then 20, and then 30, and then 40, and then, you know, and they're all professional um, Broadway performers, all of my volunteers are. We now have over 100 volunteers at Broadway Heart. Um, and, you know, we we then started to incorporate more hospitals, and we took it, um, all of our uh, visits online during the pandemic. Uh, so now we can do, we can visit with hospitals nationwide and, um, and in doing and creating this, um, foundation, we became a, a full-fledged 501c3 in 2018. Um, the founder, uh, and co-creator of the Make-A-Wish Foundation, Frank Shankowitz, um, became my mentor, which was another sort of like, what this little sprinkle dust of like I you know the impetus for creating this was a make-a-wish experience um with with a make-a-wish child and then you know I had the one of the co one of the creators of the make-a-wish foundation as on my board and you know as a mentor to me so all these things sort of lined up into place for this to happen and it just all of it was so totally in line with all the things that my father loved you know he loved music and he uh was the most generous person um of spirit and of heart and of you know means and um so you know it all just sort of lined up so so well to dedicate it to him and and it was something that felt so natural and um so easy and uh to to do that and and it just feels so right for me you know to be able to to have sort of him be with me all the time in this in this process so I feel really really lucky that I get to dedicate this to him oh yes okay <laughs> that is just so heartwarming and and touching and beautiful mm -hmm. thank you <laughs> thank you the dedicating and, and doing this in honor of your father. And then you have all the lives that you've touched. What, what is it like to take your show and do these performances for these children and their families in hospitals? I can imagine what that's like, how beautiful that is. And to see the smiles that you probably put on faces. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, the the exchange of energy is something that is um, something that I could never imagine really until we experienced it. Uh, it is it's something truly remarkable. These kids uh, are unbelievable. They're uh, the most inspiring um, humans I have ever been around. I think in my life, um, they sort of put your life into perspective in about one second. You know, they they live. Uh, completely, they seem to live completely in the present moment. And um, when we're there with them, you know, it's, it's this sort of really beautiful exchange of energy that is just rooted completely right where we are, you know, and um, 
we, you know, music, we have been so lucky as performers to have this wonderful sort of healing modality, which is music in our lives since, you know, we were little kids. And so we know how this can affect our day-to-day -day life and, and, you know, mood and illness and all of these things. But to be able to then share that with these unbelievably brave you know, strong, everything kids, they're so incredible. And to be able to sort of help in any way and also just uplift. I mean, um, we try to, you know, create the most joyful experiences that we can within the the time frame that we have. We've now created a, a completely online um, programming for them um, in our visits, uh, just because it we have now been able to reach every single child in the hospital and not just the ones that are well enough to join us um, live in the playroom. I know that that was a, a sort of a um, turning point for me too, because yeah. when we do go back in person, I'll, I'll always continue the online um, portion of what we do as well, because that was a, um, that was a real eye opener. Um, but we do, so our programming is really has expanded tremendously as well. We, we do um, half hour sing-alongs. We do Broadway hearts bingo. The kids are obsessed with bingo. <laughs> so we have a, like a bunch of different um, Broadway shows that are the squares on a bingo board and they call in and they text in and is the most interactive, joyful uh, experience with these kids. And, you know, the feedback that we get is, is that, you know, parents and child life specialists, um, you know, will say, oh, we haven't seen, a, you know, a child laugh like this in, you know, weeks, or we haven't had, or, you know, we have a, I have a parent that will text me and say, you know, I haven't seen my, my child out of pain for more than a few minutes and your half hour has, you know, alleviated this for a while. And so those kinds of, that kind of feedback for me, it gives me I mean, if I tell you, it gives me infinite energy to just push us forward in what we're doing. You know, it, it does. It this it it's an incredible source of of um, just. It gives me all the strength I need to to push us forward. So it's really I feel so fortunate, and my volunteers are. Um, you know, they're all professional Broadway performers and they, most of them are working currently, um, but they are these unbelievably huge hearted people. Uh, and, you know, they, sometimes they'll, they'll tell me that, you know, this is the best part of their week is meeting with these kids. And I, I understand that a hundred percent, you know, so I, I really value that feedback. Um, I feel the same way, but in hearing that from them as well, it's a, it's a huge reinforcement. Um, the kids are pretty extraordinary. We have also created, I have to tell, I have to just tell you, I'm going to just keep on going. Um, this really incredible program, um, recently in the last year, I tried to, we've been working on it for a while. And so it's just come to fruition. And that's really exciting. Um, called Broadway Hearts Backstage, where we um, bring a child and their family who's a, a child who's medically cleared um, and their family into the city for a sort of extravaganza. So we take them to their, yeah, we take them to their favorite show. And, you know, all of our performers are, all of our volunteers are performers. And so we have a cast meet and greet after the show with them it's a surprise for them and then we have a partner hotel and they stay overnight we have a partner restaurant they have a beautiful dinner um and we try to facilitate a bunch of really neat perks for them so we've been able to facilitate quite a few of these really fun sort of broadway um experiences for these kids and hopefully you know just create some new memories happy memories to take back with them for their next round of of treatment so that has been just ah oh, something so exciting that i that we've done that um that hopefully a beautiful can idea continue to they do can yeah it's so they can uh, talk with the yeah the staff and the performers and have a hotel a dinner oh my gosh that's amazing it's been really neat and I, we hope you know the hope we're doing it locally now um the hope is that we can get some airlines involved and you know make it a yeah. watch it grow have it yeah, expand. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Because, you know, we 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 visit with uh, kids in children's hospitals all over the nation. So we have connections with children's hospitals all over. Um, So we have the capacity to make this a nationwide program. We just need a little bit of help. So uh, that's in the works. That's in the works. Yeah. I'm oh my gosh. I just you're a group of angels. <laughs> angels <laughs> on earth. <laughs> you're yeah. very kind, Paula, but it it is um, you know, what what we get back from these kids is, you know, tripping. Oh, I so can only imagine. I can yeah. only imagine. Just yeah. you know, <laughs> seeing a smile and maybe getting mm-hmm. a hug, feeling that energy that you exchange. That, that just has to be life-changing. It really yeah. does. Yeah, these kids are uh, unbelievable. Uh, gosh. And, you know, what they go through in their young lives is, you know, m- more than you can really imagine, you know. So to sort of put it all into perspective, ha- having the opportunity to sort of give back, like, uh, a little bit is, is I feel very, very fortunate. Oh, gosh. And so you're at the stage where you're kind of reaching out and maybe even make that area amount of children that maybe can fly in and do the experience come from other areas. And so like with the McDonald house, that would be children and families or families staying there. You would do a show for their families and Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Ronald McDonald House is a really, really special place. I mean, as we all know, that's an extraordinary, extraordinary um, organization. And those are some of our favorite uh, visits. Um, we're not yet going back in, in person. Um, hopefully we will soon. Uh, but those are some of our favorite. Uh, and, and they're all over the country, aren't they? All over the country, yeah. yeah. So we have tours. We have um uh, Broadway Hearts members that are on tour, volunteers that are on tour. So we we get to facilitate um, visits with Ronald McDonald houses and and also hospitals with our our members that are on tour too. So that's really fun. I just yeah, my my heart goes to the children's hospitals and and all of that. Uh, I was a preemie baby, less than three pounds, not supposed to survive the night. And Seattle Children's Hospital saved me, but my parents actually stayed in, I think it was a McDonald's house or it was an area up there in Seattle, you know, years ago. And what that does for families and how it helps them. And now you've expanded and created something really awesome on top of that. Oh my God. (laughs) Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. So... Do you see um, what you're doing? Do you see it growing over the years and just continuing and becoming more awesome? Uh, Are you looking for more volunteers or how can anyone look into that if they want to help you in some way? Yeah, thank you so much. I love this question. So um, yes, yes to all of it. (laughs) Um, The the first part of your question, 100%. I mean, I, you know, we... Uh, the idea for this was just sort of like, can we do this? Okay, we'll try and do this. And now, you know, a few years later, uh, any sort of thought that I've had for this, I've been able to make happen. And so now I feel as if I can do anything with this. And so I, it's just a matter of like, putting one foot in front of the the other and doing it. Um, So my goal with this foundation is to you know, be a part of programming in every children's hospital in every, you know, part in every, every part of the country. Um, And then I also hope to take us global. Um, I would love to be in, in children's hospitals all over the world. Yeah, I know. I know. (laughs) I love that. I love that. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. Um, I, I don't see any reason why we can't. Um, and so, uh, you know, the, the virtual, um, platform is a really wonderful platform for us and it works really well with what we're doing with the kids and, um, you know, it just makes it accessible completely. So yeah, there, I, I don't feel like there are any 
many limitations to what we can do. Um, it's just a matter of, you know, logistics and volunteers and all of that. Um, the second part of your question, yes, we're always, always looking for um, volunteers in all aspects. You know, I have sort of worn all the hats of, of building this foundation um, on the business side of it. And I definitely know what my limitations are. So, uh, you know, any, we're still a very boutique nonprofit. So we don't have um, a lot of money to pay people to do things. So any, anyone who would love to get involved to help us grow is yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, I please. love it. I love it. And I am there for you and anything I can do to help you share your information and promote. Oh my gosh. Let's Thank do you. it. Oh, yeah. I just, <laughs> what a beautiful heart you have and, and to, to see this expanding continually and, and the lives you're helping. Oh my gosh, Jessica, I can, I can only imagine what it's been like. And this is just a beautiful goal that you're accomplishing and, and you're doing for so many people. Thank wow. you. It's been really, it's been really um, exciting for me personally. You know, I, I've been a performer my whole life and I've been a ballet dancer my whole life. And, and that has been such a gift for me to have this, you know, tunnel vision passion of dance my whole life. And it, there's always been this sort of little seed in the back of my head of, you know, after I stop performing, what am I will I have another passion for something in my life? Like, well, you know, what, what, what will I, how will I survive without a passion, you know? And I feel so lucky that I have found this, this second thing that I feel so passionate about that I think about the last thing I go to, you know, before I go to sleep and I wake up thinking about how I can best serve these kids and how I can best serve my volunteers and what what should be the next program that I create and what how we can move it forward and yes. I get so jazzed about it you know <laughs> I don't know if you can tell <laughs> yes I love it I love it oh my gosh I love it yes. you're, you're um, way you're like me I, I just came back from Mexico and I literally I buy dog food and I walk around the streets to look for dogs street dogs to feed and uh, uh, <laughs> you know I'm just one of those yes. people <laughs> yes oh my gosh and the street dogs in Mexico they're so beautiful and they're oh they need gosh. so much yeah they you need know, so any much. any act of kindness I believe even if you can do one act of kindness it's gonna make a difference definitely for oh person, definitely for an animal yes and, you know, to see you expanding those beautiful acts of kindness that you're doing with your show and your organization. Oh, my gosh. I just I just want to shed some happy tears. It's just beautiful. <laughs> Thank, <Jessica>. you. <laughs> Thank you so oh, much. Well, well, dear, please share with everyone website or email information, whatever they can use to get a hold of you, support you, learn more. Please share that with us. Yes, thank you so much. Um, so our website is broadwayhearts.org. Uh, email is jessica at broadwayhearts.org. Um, but, you know, our Instagram handle is at broadwayhearts, Facebook at broadwayhearts. Any, um, anything that you, any way that you message comes to me. <laughs> like everything comes to me. So you can, if anyone wants to message on any platform, LinkedIn, it all, it will all come to me. So um, please, please get in touch. Uh, we, I love, we love to um, co-create. We love to, you know, partner. Um, I, I'm, I'm always interested in, you know, I'm a performer. I'm a, I am an artist at heart. So, you know, any kind of collaboration, any kind of, uh, you know, brainstorming, I'm game. Excellent. So, I love it. it. I love it. <laughs> Let's, Let's do, it. do it. Well, we, we have, a, a, you know, just a few minutes left in the show. What, what last message is, do you want to give to everyone today, Jessica? Um, oh gosh, uh, that's a bit toughy. Um, I would say, you know, we we're in this sort of time. It's a bit of a precarious time in the world. You know, we've gone through so much 
the past few years. And, you know, I, my own life, you know, I feel as if holding on tight to the people that you love and, you know, doing the the best things you can do for those around you and yourself and, you know, moving forward. That's mm -hmm. all we can do. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. One day at a time, one step at a time. That's right. One gesture. And oh my gosh, you, you have with your show and your caring and what you're doing, Jessica, you have created this great ripple that is just going to become a, a bigger and bigger wave. I just, I see it, I feel it, and oh my gosh, it's it's like the ocean of love. <laughs> I'm going to call it an ocean of love. Oh, your lips, your lips, your lips. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and, and everyone you've worked with, I, I can imagine what, what that's been like for the volunteers and the people working together. Our volunteers, Paula, if I tell you, oh. our volunteers are just the most beautiful, huge hearted, unbelievably talented, glorious people. I'm so mm -hmm. grateful to them daily. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You know, so it's not only those you reach you know, the blessing of the people you connect with and work together to create this this beautiful caring energy and and what you do. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm in your corner, whatever I can do to help, however I can help get the word out, I I want to help you. And everybody out there, you know, if you want to jump in, just contact Jessica and you know, and Please. let's we can all be part of this beautiful way that you've created. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Paula. Yes, please. Yes, please. Come on in. <laughs> oh, gosh. I love it. Oh, I'm going to be smiling all day. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> But everybody out there, thank you for joining us today. It was so nice to share this, this beautiful guest with you. Uh, my heart is so touched. Jessica, thank you so much. This this has been really great meeting you, and I hope to meet you in person one day. And definitely, thank you so much. For hug. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for having me. You're so welcome. Love, hugs, and blessings to everyone. Jessica, love, hugs, and blessings. Thank you so much. <laughs>